Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people past to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we entrust to the Lord all our petitions and intentions, all our successes and failures. Let us entrust everything to God who alone is unchanging and eternal. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, 
Let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regard to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress, that it is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek a separation. Are you free of a wife? Then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin, nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life, and I would like to spare you that. I tell you, brothers, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully, for the world in its present form is passing away. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Hear, O daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord, and you must worship him. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. All glorious is the king's daughter as she enters. Her raiment is threaded with spun gold. In embroidered apparel, she is borne in to the king. Behind her, the virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. They are borne in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The place of your fathers, your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Please all stand.
Rejoice and leap for joy. Your reward will be great in heaven. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Blessed, raising his eyes towards his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor. For the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven, for their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, the Word of God today teaches us about the impermanence of things. Things pass away. The temporariness of situations. Ang salita ng Diyos ngayong araw ay nagtuturo sa atin na nagbabago ang mga bagay. In our Gospel reading today, Jesus speaks of the Beatitudes, how the poor now will inherit the kingdom, how the hungry now will be filled how those who are weeping and mourning now will laugh, and how people who are hated by this world will be rewarded. And the opposite also is true. Those who are rich now will lose all their possessions. How those who are happy and laughing now will weep. How those who are filled now will be hungry. And how those who are praised now will be in turn persecuted. Tinuturo sa atin ni Jesus na nagbabago ang mga bagay. All things are passing. That is why Jesus challenges us today to be strong in failure and to be humble also in success. Remember that all things are not permanent. All things are passing. 
kapag ikaw ngayon ay nasa kabiguan, kapag ikaw ngayon ay natalo, maging matibay, tatagan ang loob. Yan ay dadaan din at magbabago. At kapag ikaw naman ay nagtagumpay, ikaw naman ngayon ay may pera, ikaw naman ngayon ay may pangalan, wag naman maging mayabang. Hindi yan panghabang buhay. Dadaan lamang yan. That is why our first reading today from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, St. Paul reminds the Christians in Corinth to live as if Jesus is already coming. He said, those who have their wives act as if not having them. Those who are weeping as if not weeping. Those who are rejoicing as not rejoicing. Those who are buying things as not owning them. Reminding them that everything even those you hold dear in your heart are just temporary. Only God is eternal and permanent. My dear brothers and sisters, whatever situation you are in right now, remember that everything is temporary. If you are in a situation of failure, be strong. It is only temporary. If you are in a situation of success, be humble. It is only temporary. Ano man ang sitwasyon mo ngayon, ikaw man ay tagumpay, maging mapagkumbaba. Sapagkat yan ay temporary lamang. Ikaw man ngayon ay talo at nagdurusa, maging matibay sapagkat yan ay panandalian lamang. Let us entrust everything to God. God alone is eternal and unchanging. Amen. Please all stand. Rich and poor alike, God calls us together as sons and daughters of the kingdom. Let us pray to our Father with sincere hearts. For every petition, let us say, God of blessings, turn to us. God of blessings, turn to us. That under persecution, the church may hold fast to the faith and bring people together let us pray to the Lord, God, God of blessings, blessings turn, turn to, to us. us, that the poor and the hungry may receive their fill through the sincere efforts of our leaders. Let us pray to the Lord, God, God of, of blessings, blessings turn, turn to us, that believers who are hated, insulted, rejected, and abused may rejoice in the comfort of the kingdom awaiting them. Let us pray to the Lord, God, God of blessings, blessings turn, turn to us, that the sick and the elderly may feel secure by our love and care for them. Let us pray to the Lord, God, God of blessings, blessings turn, turn to us. us, that the faithful departed may obtain the Lord's mercy through the help of our prayers, let us pray to the Lord. God, God of blessings, blessings turn, turn to us. Almighty God, hear our petitions. Let our lives proclaim the happiness to which you call us. For you are our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Our healing rosary for this evening will be hosted by the community of the Immaculate Conception School of Theology in Vigan City as they celebrate the 200th anniversary of the beginning of the seminary formation in northern Luzon. 
We thank their seminary community in Vigan for hosting this evening's rosary. And we invite all of you at 9 p.m. this evening to join us online in praying the healing rosary for the world. Tomorrow is the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the birthday of Mama Mary, September 8. Our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 7.30 a.m., 12.10 in the afternoon, and we have another Mass in the evening at 5.30 p.m. We invite everyone to join us in celebrating this great feast of Our Lady. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.